What's good on Spartans? We're back with a new idea. Super excited to be talking about this one. A new league, Legend League. I really want this, guys. It's something I've talked about many times in the past. Um, now, I do have a question for you guys. Do you think a new league should be added to the game? That's the first question. Second question I want you to answer in the comments below. Do you think it should start at 3,800? Because every, every single league has been 600 apart. So should that continue? And should they make Champions League a Champions 3, 2, and 1? Or should there just be a Champions League and then Legend League at 4K? Now, it's a really debatable thing. I mean, personally, I'd actually like them to do Champions 3 through 1. At 3,800, you get, you know, Legendary League 3. And then by 4,200, you're Legendary League 1. And if you get above that, you're just, you know, a Legendary League 1. But obviously, guys, it's up to you. What do you think? I'm definitely going to be uh, sending this to Marika from Supercell, so she's going to be checking this video out for sure. Hopefully, we can get a lot of likes in this video, a lot of positive comments about getting new leagues and continuing to develop the game in fun ways. Now, guys, I really do hope we can make that happen because I think it's been far too long that Champions League has been the peak league to be in. And honestly, since we're already about to hit 5,000 trophies, I think it's absolutely needed that we have a trophy league for 4K because... What's the point of continuing to push for some smaller guys out there if they can't even get a new shield? I mean, obviously for the top players, it's all about, you know, being number one. But honestly, there's so many players at that 4K range now that it kind of is a shame that we can't get a new shield for people that make it there. Because it is quite an accomplishment to reach 4K. It's a huge accomplishment even to get over 3,800 or 3,600. But a lot of people are doing it very, very easily now with a little bit of, you know, effort. So I'm actually pushing right now. I'm at 35-18. Um, I actually didn't get to play the last 24 hours, so I took three defenses, unfortunately, and I lost an attack. So I went down like almost 100 cups. I was about at 3600. I was like 3598 or something, and I lost. So really rough. Um, I'm gonna make it up the next few days here and get to 3700 uh, by the end of the weekend. So that's my goal. Hopefully we can do that pretty easily. I definitely will have some pushing episodes out for you guys, so definitely stay tuned for those. If you haven't already, check the eye up in the right-hand corner. I'm going to mention it in pretty much every video just to get people used to doing it. Click that eye and check out some of those videos. Um, if you already missed the Queen rant, definitely go watch that. Um, I kind of ranted about the Queen's AI a bit, but there is a nice two-star for 55%. And guys, do me that favor, of course, of commenting and liking below. And make sure you definitely voice your opinion about this new league because, guys, the game goes where we want it to go for the most part. Obviously, Supercell has their, you know, creative twist on things, but a lot of the things that we've wanted for years have come into effect. So I will definitely be showing you at least one more attack right here. We're going to go ahead and start it. And let's see here. All right, so this base is actually a northern teaser, which of course is really good for this forest, guys. If you didn't know that, go watch How to Go Win, and that's the name of the forest, Go Win. Um, obviously, the end doesn't mean anything. It's just like go -y, but it's, you know, I added it on for fun. Anyway very effective force for teaser bases and you're going to see why so basically you start off by getting your golems in now once they're in there your heroes get dropped down after you clear the outsides with the wizards just like with go wipe so it's very key you take those outside buildings off there already it allows your golems and your king and queen to work their way into the base and follow those golems right toward that town hall so we broke in with wall breakers which is awesome it means we don't need to use our jump spell which is super helpful and then you can see we're destroying this base with the queen completely protected i'm gonna use a free spell there the king is gonna die soon that's okay though we can we can actually afford to lose him but of course the queen is going into the center of the base which is what we need thank god she's being smart for once but she actually is going right for the town hall i'm gonna wait to invis her as long as possible dropping the free spell to buy her time and then invis her so allowed her to destroy a lot of stuff and you can see she's absolutely just crushing it. Drop the jump spell, which is quite a waste, actually. But it helps out a little bit here. And the queen goes down right as that inferno does, too. And as you can see, the golem is going to explode here any second and destroy this podium, which is awesome. An extra 41%. Now, on the outside edges of the base, we're just using our archers to pick off the outside buildings, which is super key to do. And it actually helps a lot with this because we're able to get a huge amount of percentage. We were at 41% thanks to that golem. And that big bomb killed one of our archers, but since I carry six, not a huge deal. We can afford to lose one. And there it goes, 47%, 49, and now we drop down the wizard. He takes out the building, gets the 50%, and he does die. But just for injury insult, I take out one more building, 
and get that 52%. So 13 trophies, no loot at all, unfortunately, but we're pushing, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.